Hey guys, it's Donald Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're taking a first look at Bernard Herrmann Composer Toolkit by Spitfire Audio. I have been so excited about this library uh, since it was announced a couple years ago at NAMM. This is Spitfire's first dry stage ensemble library they've recorded. And as you can guess, it's completely inspired by composer Bernard Herrmann. Uh, it examines some of his most famous scores and then they worked with uh, Bernard Herrmann's estate to curate this unique set of orchestral, and uh, there's even synths in here, which is crazy. Now the library downloads as 146 gigabytes. That's right, it downloads via Spitfire's own downloader, and it does require 290, like five gigabytes. So get a new hard drive, guys. Uh, it was recorded at Studio One in Air Lyndhurst by Simon Rhodes. The library itself is a collection of orchestral ensemble and section instruments, uh, curated, of course, to reflect Herman's style. There's orchestral sections, ensembles with varying articulations, there's effects, and there's synth instruments here. Uh, like I said before, this is Spitfire's first dry ensemble, although there are six microphones for the sound of room, close mics, tree mics, uh, those rigger mics way in the back. Bernard Herrmann is a contact player instrument, uh, so it's uh, compatible with both the full and free version of contact. Um, I think 5.5 or higher might be required. And uh, it sells for 499 US dollars from Spitfire Audio. At the time of this first look, uh, I believe it is just released this morning here. Uh, it looks like there's an intro price for 399, so you could save $100 on the library. I have been so excited to check out this library. I'm a huge Bernard Herrmann fan. He's a very influential composer in my book. Um, and I've even been asked uh, as a professional composer to conjure up the style of Bernard Herrmann for some of my work. And uh, I've been thrilled with how it's come out. But it would have been so much better if I had a library composed specifically created specifically to compose with the sounds and textures of Bernard Herrmann. So I'm just going to dig in. Uh, we're going to listen through some of the sounds and play through the articulations. Uh, I'm not going to really construct anything, and we're going to play it pretty loose. I'll probably keep the talking to a minimum. And here we go. I've got, uh, it looks like we have got quite a few contact presets. So the first one is the studio orchestra, and uh, I'm going to move my key switch to a reasonable area. There we go. Okay, so this is long sustains. It's got a nice full sound to it. That's uh, just the longs. Shorts. I don't hear that big reverb here. Maybe let's let me turn it up. I mean, I love this this quality of the sound. Let me just get a little bit more air in the room. Yeah.
works. Like our next one is uh, Common Chords. I'd be really curious to see if they've got a chart for these chords. Okay, and now we've got some effects. getting anything triggered from that one. So there's a long... So down on the bottom and ascending at the top. One thing I note on this one here, this tone clusters, they all have the same root, it sounds like. sound to it and chatter <laughs> it sounds really good Let's check out the next one. Uh, the next instrument here is the high strings. I don't know if you caught some uh, digital chaos there. And the last two minor trims. And major trims. Ah, 
high strings octaves. Oh, nice. This is the legato. I think I wonder uh, there it's uh, it is a bit of a reduced range compared to what we had here for our high strings just to make a mental note of that we've got high strings half a section These are really smooth and silky. Uh, oh, I'm triggering double, double, double key switch there. Long flotandos. Spiccatos. It's got a nice bite to it. Uh, I originally talked a little bit about a little bit more reverb. These are recorded in Air Studio One. Um, it's got really nice sound to it, but I think for my taste, I'd want just a tiny bit more reverb. Yeah, just a little bit more there. That's nice. Different shorts. Constantino Spiccatos. And it looks like we got some more tremolos. That tremolo's got a lot of bite to it. And, uh, some string, high string effects. Let's see what we got here. All kinds of uh, effects. I'd say all kinds of takes of the same kind of effect. Yeah. Sound really nice. Uh, I do need to save these with my desired setting at another point here. Let's get uh, the low string instruments pulled up. Okay, low strings. Mm -hmm. 
That's our lowest note there. We go up to, it looks like A4. That, uh, it's got a, a really nice bite to it, and I think that uh, with the vibrato, I think Herman, Mr. Herman would be proud of that little line. Uh, that's the legatos for the low strings, and they sound really lovely. I, of course, probably add a little bit more reverb and give it just a little bit more far mic. That's just my personal preference for this particular sample set thus far. And uh, that's the beauty of the way Spitfire builds it. Very easy. That's why they call it the easy mix to dial that in. Mm. My key switches are buried way down here. I am a big fan of the ensemble tools myself. I like having low strings, high strings. I know that purists can... That is a really silky sound. I like that a lot. Uh, the long flotundos. Really quiet. to go wrong with the uh, pizzicato sound sometimes. Got a little bit of uh, digital. And that's my uh, sound card giving me some trouble. Pizzicato Bartok. The snaps and the low string tremolos. One of the keys here I, I've found with all the Spitfire libraries that I really like is the ability to have this, these all the CCs right there on the front. Um, normally I have my lemur pad hooked up. As some of you know, I recently relocated and just am getting my studio set up here for some reason my poor lemur can't see my computer anymore so i'm having to kind of program these in as i go low strings and horns i oh, can't wait to hear this Yeah, that's just a beautiful sound. I really love uh, ensemble combinations, orchestra libraries that do this kind of thing. Now, if you listen carefully there, I know that it's pretty quiet, but you could hear that, that sample slightly out of tune for a second. 
There you go. You hear that? I really think that adds to the realism of the sample set thus far. <laughs> Shorts with those. I think those are the mutes, aren't they? Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, that's a great sound, too. Now, that one, I'm not familiar with that combination. Uh, I guess I've been listening to some different uh, Herman scores recently. Low strings and trombones. This should be a treat. Here's the legatos. I'm going to set my, uh, whoop, my, my expression right here and learn my vibrato. Here we go. Just a great sound. Here's the longs without those legatos. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and reset my audio engine. I hear more clicks and clacks. And uh, the shorts. <laughs> that is such a fantastic sound. <laughs> Digging that one. That is a great sound. Low strings and trombones. Learn something every day. Uh, never ending journey of becoming a virtual orchestrator. Way up here. That's our piccolo and flute. Oh, that's a great sound. Uh, just a couple articulations here, longs for these. Oops. And some shorts.
Those are nice. Okay, concert flutes. It's nice those flutters they got. Uh, you can hear that a little bit overblown, uh, even. Yeah, minor trills, major second trills, and some flute effects. I heard, uh, like a, that's my keyboard, <laughs> uh, a little click there. <laughs> that's great. It's so Herman. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a, a mixed flutes. Yeah, it's just a really great sound on all of these. Let's hear a little bit more room. The longs and the flutters. Common chords. Uh, we run across this on a couple of the instruments here. It definitely has that Herman sound. Now I wonder if uh, if you can stack some of the winds with maybe one of the other instruments so you get the same chords. I'm gonna have to read up on that. Flutes and clarinets. Nice rounded sound. Octaves with those the trills, and let's check out the low winds. This is going to be a delight. I I could tell already just from the quality of everything else thus far. I don't know if 
I don't know if you guys are hearing the digital distortion there. It's my I've got some issues here. I gotta sort out. That's nice. And octaves. This is from a taxi driver uh, soundtrack, kind of inspired from that. It's a very playable library. It's probably going to be one of those libraries I'm always thinking about. Can I use it? Sounds great. And some chords. OK, 
Okay, in our, what was it? Our mixed flutes, we had chords, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and turn those on. Let me just see. Yes, okay. My suspicion was correct that all of the chords here are mapped out the same way across the keyboard. Let's see how we get this to go on the chords. Okay, so now we've got our uh, horns, mixed flute, and I guess we don't need the studio orchestra. Yeah. So they're all the same chords uh, orchestrated properly. That's great. So we just did horns and mid brass. This might be one of my longest videos. I hope that you are getting some helpful info out of it. Uh, I know that I like to do this every time I get an instrument. Mid brass. It's interesting that there's a dedicated mid brass instrument. And uh, great sounding effects. Effects falls. Oh. Let's check out the trombones. I've got this loaded on my only uh, uh, solid state, not solid state drive, I should say. So, because the library is so damn big. I probably could have asked for a trombone legato there. Trombones and timpani. Okay, this is pretty cool. I can tell already. Yeah, I can tell. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. So harp and uh, celeste. Okay, now we're going to go back and listen to our uh, mixed flutes. Uh, I'm just going to double these again. I really want to see what chords they're using. I mean, I could probably figure it out by ear, but it's just really uh, be neat to have a little map of that. Uh, harp and vibraphone combination. Mm -hmm. 
long bowed. And our chords. I didn't realize we had all these chords up here too. Andonis Martinot. Okay, I don't know what this one is, so... Uh, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm sure you guys, somebody out there already knows. Some kind of reed organ. Pipe kind of thing. <laughs> Some crazy sounds. All right, we've got two more instruments here percussion and timpani. I'm just going to blast through these because uh, I'm supposed to go have dinner. Perfectly selected for what uh, you would expect for a Herman Library. And timpani. So those are with the soft sticks. Rolls, obviously, we want to control dynamics and expression. Hard sticks. Dampened. Rolled with hard sticks. Hot rods. It's such a great sound. Okay. That is great. So those are just the main instruments. There's also um, some extended techniques. Uh, there's synths. So playing through these synths here, I can see how these would work nicely to be combined with the orchestral 
And of course, probably once you really started playing with some of these parameters and controls they've built in, you could do a lot with it. Um, I'm not familiar with this interface, so that will be uh, another day's adventure. Thanks so much for checking out the video, and uh, I hope that you got a little better insight into s just some of the sounds and articulations that are offered here with uh, Bernard Herman's Cinematic Toolkit from Spitfire Audio. I'll be sure to include a link uh, over to uh, Sample Library Reviews official Bernard Herman Composer Toolkit a Spitfire Audio page. We'll have all the demos and all the videos, including any other reviews that I find if you'd like to learn more about what others have to say about the instrument. Thanks so much for your support. Please comment in the description below, say hi, like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and deals. <laughs>